Hey friend, Sean from Draft Therapy here on today's review for you. The tequila made me do it. Mas Agave is a 10% tequila barrel aged Imperial Goza from Founders Brewing Company in Grand Rapids, Michigan. This is the third release in Founders Barrel Age series for 2019. We already had Backwoods Bastard, which is now a, a year round release, and KBS before this one that came out in March. And I feel like this is either a really risky release for Founders or a really safe one. I mean, a tequila barrel aged Goza? I guess if you're looking for Founders Barrel Age series, you're probably already a seasoned craft beer drinker, and this one isn't gonna be your first step into that world, but everyone seems to complain when the barrel age series are IPAs or lighter beers. Uh, me personally, I really like Gozas, so I'm excited to get this one into a glass. But first, we'll take a look at the label. Fun fact, there are five official classifications of tequila. From youngest to oldest, they are Blanco, Hoven, Risposado, and Añejo, and Extra Añejo. So we're going to take a look at the label here. Uh, it's, we'll start off with the cap. I'll show the overhead is the gold founders cap. They do this on all the barrel aged releases. And then on the front, uh, across the top on the neck of the bottle, we have founders brewing. It is a nice parchment kind of paper like they always do with a rose, uh, coppery reddish colored embossing around it. And on the bottom here, it says founders mas agave. And it's this skeletal hand holding up a lime with a monarch butterfly on it, kind of paying homage to the Mexican Day of the Dead and also the monarchs that are in Mexico. And it says Imperial Lime Goza style ale brewed with agave aged in tequila barrels. And this reminds me of kind of a Mexican Day of the Dead, um, you know, kind of motif going on here. It has some kind of flower flowery banners around the side here and it says Founders Brewing Company Grand Rapids Michigan um, and then it tells you it's 12 fluid ounces in the bottle and then on the back again it says Founders Mas Agave it also has the Barrel Age Series logo on it this is the 2019 release and the writing across the back says we love cocktails like really love them if you ask us few are more refreshing than the tart and tangy margarita and our latest Barrel Age beer pays tribute to that perennial classic we took an Imperial Goza brewed with agave, lime, and sea salt, and then aged it in tequila barrels. Consider it a party in a bottle, Mas Agave. And then this one says it was bottled on April 23rd, 2019, uh, and it's 10% alcohol by volume. This started hitting shelves on May 2nd, actually May 1st, and then May 2nd and May 3rd, just in time for Cinco de Mayo. And today, the day that I'm recording this is actually Cinco de Mayo, so this is going to be perfect for to kind of top off my Cinco de Mayo evening. And I am going to grab my custom Tiku Draft Therapy Tiku glass. Let's grab the trusty dusty bottle opener. I had to look for it for a second, I'm doing so many cans these days lately. So let's crack this. And uh, in, on the inside of the cap, again, I'll show the overhead. It has the Barrel Age Series logo in there in a gold cap which I have a lot of gold caps kind of sitting on my counter here. Let's get a nose just out of the bottle. Getting that lime, getting that tequila smell. It smells almost like a really sweet lime, actually. There's a little bit of a saltiness in there. The whole kind of smell that I'm getting actually smells like a margarita. It has kind of a margarita scent, it has that kind of saltiness to it, but it also has like a sweet lime scent uh, or aroma. And let's go ahead and get this in the glass. It's coming kind of a bronzish yellow out of the out of the bottle here. I'm gonna open it up there at the end. It has a kind of an orangey uh, color, brownish orangey color to the actual beer itself. I have about one finger's worth ahead. You can see the bubbles, the compactness from the overhead, larger bubbles in the center, and then more compact ones around the edge. The head is not really dissipating too quickly, but I can already see some kind of alcohol lacing for where the, the top of the head hit on this glass. Let's hold it up to the light, and this is this is not, I can see a shadow through uh, the light, my fingers through the light there, but that is a tasty looking beer right there. So let's get a better nose on it right out of the glass. Yeah, again, I'm just getting a full fledged, more of a full fledged margarita scent, uh, aroma, margarita aroma coming out of that. I'm getting a lot of lime. I'm getting a little bit of a saltiness, but again, it's limey, but it's a little bit tequila and it has a little bit of a sweetness to the lime. Lime, you know, it's tart, obviously. Uh, it's a lime. <laughs> you know what a lime tastes like, I hope. So it has that tartness in the smell as well. I'm ready to dive right into this, so cheers.
Wow. It brings the tequila brings a little bit of a kind of tear to my eye, but first thing when I took it in, the first taste right off the bat, I got that saltiness, but then I'm also getting that kind of tequila in there and a lime. This honestly, if you've had a margarita, this tastes like margarita in a beer, like a strong margarita. Um, sometimes you get those margaritas, you get a lime margarita and they're not so strong. You get a lot more lime and a lot more mix, margarita mix than you get of anything else. But this has a really nice kind of saltiness at the very beginning. And then that translates or transfers into this really limey uh, and tequila kind of spiked taste on the end there. The mouth feels a little bit on the thicker side. Not syrupy, but it's definitely a full mouth feel. It's a little thicker. It's borderline syrupy, but it's it's kind of a heavy medium uh, to thick. And then it's, it's but it's really full. And, and it honestly, it tastes like if I was ever a type of person that would pour uh, beer into a glass with ice, this would be the perfect, mar this is, this wouldn't be, this is the perfect margarita styled um, beer to me. Like I've never had a beer that, that has claimed to be a margarita or a margarita taste in it and tastes like a margarita. This one tastes hardcore like a margarita and it is super dangerous because it does have that tequila kick in there, that tequila bitterness, that agave is in there hardcore, but you're not getting uh, kind of like that hard sting of tequila if you have a margarita that's really heavy on tequila you sometimes get that tequila sting on the tail end this has a tequila bite to it but it's not a sting it doesn't warm up your chest there's no burn on the back end let's get one more taste because this is just it's really good wow like I said, while it tastes so much like a margarita, there are some beer qualities in there as well. And that just rounds it out. It doesn't make it just one note. I mean, a margarita is not really one note, but it's not. I don't think that this is something that you could give somebody that's, that just loves margaritas and say, hey, tr try this and tell me if you think uh, what, <laughs> I'm playing a trick on you. There's it doesn't it's not a one to one to a margarita. It's really heavily margarita tasting, but I think that someone that's a hardcore margarita fan or somebody that likes to drink margaritas would be able to tell you this is a beer. But this, like again, like I said, this is super dangerous. I, I really love KBS. I like Backwoods Bastard. This is another really quality top-notch entry for founders in their Barrel Age series. Again, releasing this as close to Cinco de Mayo as possible, you know, that was I think that was perfect strategy, and I think that you can go back to this after Cinco de Mayo to kind of get those flashbacks of Cinco de Mayo. It would be perfect for that. Wow. If you don't like tequila, this is not a beer for you, but if you like tequila or if you would like to try this and say see what all the fuss is about, I think this is a really great entry, another really prime entry in the Founders Barrel Age series, and this is one I would be super curious to see how this one settles down and morphs over some aging. Um, I'm going to pick up another four-pack of this because I'm really digging this. I, I can't say enough how impressed I am with this. Um, and I'm going to be picking up another four pack and then you'll see a roundup at the end of the year. But I think this might come up on top as one of my favorite of the Barrel Age series so far. All right, friends, that has been Mas Agave from Founders, the third in their Barrel Age series for 2019. And I'm a little sad that there's only two left. And the last one we already know, it's CBS. So the next one's the big mystery. So if you have any hints on the last Barrel Age series release, or if you've had this one before, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you like Michigan beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about Michigan beer twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Also, I've mentioned this in past videos. When I hit a thousand subs, I'm going to have a giveaway and you can enter by just leaving me a question for a Q&A video at 224 Draft 20. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by and remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.